guys, Brandon Sully from thirstream.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the GHH or back extension first band. This is a great exercise for the glutes and the hamstrings and even the lower back. And we'll kind of discuss that in a minute. So the reason I call it the GHH is I want this to be more gluten hamstring focused or basically a hyper extension, so to speak. So what I've got here is I've got my band on the back extension and then I've got my pad already set up. So the big thing is this is gonna depend upon one, upon how tall you are, um, and then same thing with the pad as well, you can move it up and down. So what we're gonna try to do here, from this exercise, I want the upper back to stay good and straight, and I want everything to happen from the glutes and the hamstrings, which is why I call it a GHH. Most people just call it a back extension, but in my opinion, you're not really after the back piece, you're more after the glute and the hamstring piece, unless if you specify otherwise that you wanna focus on some good quality rounding, and some good extending to get the rectors more involved that way than you can. But your rectors are gonna get some good work as well by staying good and static. And if you're trying to build your squat or your deadlift, that's ultimately what you kind of want to get out of this exercise anyways. And the band is gonna apply uh, are going to apply the combining resistance to make it harder at the top and a little less stressful in the bottom. So again, I'm gonna get in here and then I'm gonna basically lean forward. And then the band, you got a couple options here. One, you can hold on to it, or two, mainly the best way is to put it around your neck and then hold on to the band here, or if you wanna add weight as well, keep your head relatively neutral so you don't wanna be cranked back here. Just kinda of find something in front of you in the floor. Make sure your feet are on the pad the best you can. Again, I'm pretty short for this machine. Um, and then I'm gonna hold on here, and I'm gonna hinge at my hips, and then I'm gonna use my glutes and my hamstrings to pull myself up and get a good quality contraction. And then I wanna to try to drive my hips forward into the pad. What I don't wanna do is I don't want to overextend like this. Again, it's making it very low back heavy. We're trying to focus on more glutes and hamstrings. Find something in front of the floor. Good quality glute contractions. So when it comes to programming exercise like this, um, if you're adding the band, you probably need some resistance or maybe you need to work on more of the lockout piece of your deadlift and develop your glutes and hamstrings more. But you also get the overspeed eccentrics, which is nice So the band is pulling you down, gonna make it a little more stressful on your glutes and your hamstrings. I generally like to program this for most athletes. If I have them a band, I'll just give them a rep range of somewhere between like 10 and 20 reps and they can build up and find a good amount of band tension. So that would be the first thing you do, increase the amount of band tension on the actual exercise, and then you can add weight to it as well, or a combination of the two. Just understand that the band's gonna definitely make you work on that extension piece through the glutes and the hamstrings, through the hip extension piece. Sorry, not, not low back extension, hip extension, wanna verify that. And then also just knock them out. And usually, again, it's gonna be a low level accessory exercise towards the end of your training session, but you could also even put it as a warm up set or two before you go to start your deadlift day. You got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.